All right, guys, today we are going to be doing something a little bit different in talking about survival cordage ideas or essentially different types of cordage that I usually run when I'm running either or when that I pack in either my survival kits on my survival knives or try to include in general with different survival setups. So there's a handful of different cordages and today I wanted to go over their pros, their cons and what I commonly use them for, how I commonly rig them up. So without any further ado, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, all of the support means a ton. Okay, so now let's talk about the cordages that I actually run. So the first one here comes in a wide variety of different flavors, but essentially it is inner tube of bicycles. Now you can also utilize the same type of material in Ranger bands, but here particularly, this is cut or split in half down long way of the inner inner tube to create a cord that is very versatile for a multitude of different reasons. The first, of course, is that this is a very stretchy compression cord. So if you need to tie this around an object and have that object under compression, this is a really good cordage for that. In addition, because this is rubber, that means that it does stick to itself. So if you don't really need to use knots to end or tie these and have them hold. So all you have to do is really just a simple overhand or underhand or overhand knot and uh, that will catch or keep the cordage from slipping especially if it is under tension so this is a good compression cord it is a good uh, cordage for the fact that you don't really have to tie it it does stick to itself pretty darn well in addition to that though aside from this being a straight just survival cordage or cordage you can use for tying different things this is also a really good multi-purpose um, type of material because of course while not preferable you can also jerry rig this into uh, being slingshot bands because it is elastic and you can once again use this for slingshots so if you needed to make an impromptu hunt tool this would be a good option for that in addition to that as well though never quite recommended because this is a cordage that has a multitude of different uses you can use this uh, for starting fires because it is rubber and it does have this it does have a high degree of petroleum based materials this will light on fire and start fires if you need to once again i would always you know weigh the risks of doing that because this is such a multi-use cordage so you don't want to just burn it if you have things like birch bark or other flammable tinder materials around you however like i said in a pinch this will work uh, in addition to that as well this cordage works pretty darn well especially in its tube form when it has hasn't been cut open or split in half as controlling or moving water because of course this is non-water permeable so you can use this in a multitude of different fashions for different survival tasks really uh, I love bicycle inner tube because it is such a simple cordage that is so good for a multitude of survival tasks and uh, really is quite a multi-tool for cordage Okay, next one up on the line is going to be bank line. And bank line itself is definitely not as versatile as the inner tube that we just talked about, but bank line does have a few unique advantages. Now, bank line, as the name implies, is designed to be used in and around water. It's essentially a tarred nylon or polyester rope that because it's tarred makes it pretty much impermeable to water so you think of things like paracord one of the primary downsides to paracord is that it's nylon sheath and it's nylon just overall build lends itself to being permeated by water which can facilitate mold mildew and ultimately breakdown and degradation of the quality or the strength of this cord so bank line doesn't really have that issue because like i said it is basically baked into or it basically has tar baked into the cordage so it gives it a lot better resistance to mold mildew and the negative properties of water so that's where the primary strength of bank line comes in if you're looking for a cordage that is going to perform really well around watery environments this is definitely one however the other nice benefit to bank line is the fact that because it is tarred it is usually a little bit stronger and as you guys can see here it is noticeably thinner than paracord hopefully the camera will pick that up let's see 
So you guys can see there, it is noticeably thinner than paracord. And while it is not as strong as paracord, it is still quite strong for what it is. If I remember correctly, this is like 325 test or pound test cord. So it is pretty strong for what it is. And like I said, being thinner and within reason, a lot of times you really don't need, you know, some super crazy high, you know, pound feet of test for your or tensile strength because realistically you're just probably not going to need it unless you're doing something crazy which is probably beyond the limitations of the cord so anyways um, this stuff is pretty good it's pretty thin pretty uh, lightweight and once again very water resistant so bank line is definitely on the list of course too similar to the uh Similar to bicycle inner tube, because there is a lot of petroleum in this cordage, you could also burn it, but I would encourage against that because generally speaking, you probably want the cordage for its ability to bind things and uh, be a good cordage as opposed to just lighting it on fire. However, it is an option and you could do that potentially with this cordage. But bank line, like I said, it's primary primary advantages are the fact that it is a smaller cordage and the fact that it is very water resistant. So that is a really good cordage in and of itself. Now let's talk about the last one and that is of course paracord. Now you guys will know most of my survival kits have paracord and generally speaking I do like paracord a little bit more than bank line even though bank line is totally sufficient for I would say 90% of tasks. Of course uh, paracord has the inner strands of it and of course you can also get different survival typed paracords that have alternative inner strands of different types of wires or uh, fire tinder materials but the basic base 550 cord or paracord is a super versatile kind of like the duct tape of the cordage world it's just really good at solving a wide variety of problems you can use it to fashion you can fashion bow strings out of it you can bind up many different things with it you can uh, just use this in a wide variety of tasks now once again it is not as mold or mildew resistant as bank line so you will want to keep that in mind with how or where you're using this stuff but it is a really nice cordage it's also most of the time super pliable so very easy to tie into different knots and one knot that i really love to show off on this channel is the jam knot and i'll just go over that really quick in this video i do have other videos on it but essentially you take your tag end you make sure you have enough of your tag end to be able to form a couple loops you just basically take that tag end wrap it over once or twice and then you take it through this loop right here and then you just cinch it right up. Now, one thing that's really cool about the jam knot is not only how easy it is to make, but you can take this jam knot and use it to either hold cordage or bundles of things, or you can even take it and say you want to just make a quick butterfly kind of loop with your paracord very easily. You can do this and of course this isn't much paracord to work with but you if you were bundling a bunch of paracord like say 10 or 20 feet you can easily do that and of course the knot once you're finished just pulls right apart so really cool knot but really cool cordage as well paracord is definitely my favorite and go-to cordage but hopefully this video kind of showed you guys some other cordage ideas and alternatives that have really good uses out in the wilderness and once again all of these i use in different ways and i wrap my sheaths with even things like inner tube and paracord to make different survival type uh, to make my sheaths and my knives more survival ready. So hopefully this video was uh, helpful for you guys and showed you guys some different ideas of cordages that you guys can run as well. As always, God bless and I'm out.